Where the heck do I find pre-foreclosures? In a future video, we'll, we'll talk about the difference between pre-foreclosures, foreclosures, bank-owned properties, all of those types of things. Welcome to a playlist that Michael Frankie is giving us a ton of love on. We're probably gonna do a 20-part series for you guys. In this video, we're gonna talk about where the heck do I find pre-foreclosure lists, leads, data, etc. Michael, what's your YouTube channel, by the way? Michael D. Frankie. Michael D. Frankie. If anyone can find Michael Frankie from this guy in Germany and get me that handle, I'll pay you a thousand bucks. No, Michael D. Frankie is way better because D for door knocking, bro. Ooh. Okay, D for door knocking. <laughs> and, the, and if you can go find this guy, Michael Frankie in Germany, you might have to door knock him too. Okay, <laughs> so where am I going to find my um, pre-foreclosure information, Michael? So the first thing you have to do, and we talked about this in the last video, was the first step is finding that data. Now we had mentioned the first one, USA Legal Notices, this applies to all 50 states. No matter where you live, you don't have an excuse. Log on here, click your state, put a few keywords in, pre-foreclosure, trustee sale, anything like that, and you'll immediately have the notices and those update daily. Okay, cool, and that costs so much money though, right? It costs absolutely nothing. Zero dollars, okay, so zero dollars equals zero excuses, love that. All right, what about auction.com? Hey, why, auction why would I go to auction.com over the first one? Auction.com is a platform that has a significant amount of the pre-foreclosure listings in the country. You can simply go on there, put your market in, Kansas City for me, Phoenix for Pace, and it'll bring up all the different listings. It'll have all the information in terms of the address, when that auction is, maybe some of the opening bids, things like that. And the cool thing is, if you want even better information, there is a little tab below that says contact information. And it will have the foreclosure attorney contact information. Go find the websites of those people, and they have even more updated listings for their, all their foreclosure sales. Are you reaching out to the foreclosure attorney? No, not a, I'm reaching out to the foreclosure attorney. I'm more interested in talking to the seller. Okay, got it. Um, I, when somebody asked us today, we put a, you and I were going back and forth inside the Sub2 Community Facebook group, and somebody was like, Should, do I need a pre-foreclosure attorney? I was like, I've never needed a pre-foreclosure attorney. Have you? I communicate with them when I'm trying to stop a sale, but not in terms of getting a hold of the seller. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. We're, we're on the same page there. Okay, so I don't need the foreclosure attorney. You're just going to the foreclosure attorney's info, um, website to potentially get more information. What you're telling me is auction.com is better than USA Legal Notices, not because USA Legal Notices is missing the listings, it's right. that auction.com is giving you way more information about that specific house. So legal notices, it's more static. It's just telling you, hey, there's a foreclosure sale, end of conversation. So that way you get the information, auction.com may have more updated information. Got it, okay. Um, why would I go to zillow.com versus auction.com? So Zillow is just near and dear to my heart. That's how I found my first pre-foreclosure. Mm. I looked up Zillow. If you go to the for sale by owner or there's a different tab that's not just traditional houses, it will have a whole list of all the pre-foreclosures. It even has a map for you so you know where it is. Um, but it gives you all that information. Oftentimes it links back to sites like auction.com. Okay, cool. Um, Zome, why would I go to Zome? Zoom is another this, one. This is a new one for me, by the yeah. way. Yeah, it's sort of like auction.com. It's just another brokering service that lists all these pieces of information. Do you find that Zoom has stuff that auction doesn't have and vice versa? Correct. Okay, cool. So it's like kind of like going to Walmart versus Target. Like, yeah, you can both get milk, but it's going to be different brands and different whatever else. So Zoom's an, a, maybe a second place to check just in case there, there might be stuff missing on auction.com. Pre foreclosures daily or pre foreclosure daily. Um, what is good and bad about that website? So Pre-Foreclosures Daily has been a company that's been around for a long time. They will send you the information, but sometimes it's not always the most updated. So if you have a state like mine, Missouri, where the foreclosure timeline's 21 days, mm. if their information is a couple weeks behind, it puts me in a tough spot and for sure the seller in a tough spot. So you want to get updated information up here, but these information is also accurate. Um, 21 days? is so amazing. Why is 21 days amazing for a real estate investor? For us, it's amazing because the seller has to take action in that period of time. Do they work with us every time? No, but they have that timeline that forces them to take action and it makes it easy for us to scoop up deals. Arizona is closer to 40, 60 days. California is like 16 years, I think is what it mm -hmm. is. I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> you, can ha you can like have a child and like they can get all the way to their driver's license before the house gets foreclosed on. 
So when you're focusing on pre-foreclosures, um, areas with that type of uh, regulation, Texas is also really good. They only have one auction. One, they have an auction once a month. I think it's like the second or third Tuesday of the month. But man, they are hostile. They're like, you're getting the heck out of the house. Their time frame, 20, bro, 21 days is the shortest I've ever it's heard. Short. That's so good. But the good thing is that no matter what your state's like and what the timeline is, there's always going to be people that wait till the last minute. Mm. And those are the people that you're going after. And those are the people that you're serving. Cool. Guys, so there's the answer to the question. Um, in the Sub2 community, Michael does a kick-ass Zoom with Caroline Kane on Thursdays. Thursdays. Where he'll go through and he'll show you some of this kind of stuff. He also shows you this stuff over on his YouTube channel. Go over to that YouTube channel, we'll put a link in the description down below. And we'll jump into the next video in the playlist.